Hello, everybody. Thanks, Marco, for the introduction. It's a big honor to be uh, invited here and uh, to present my company in front of this amazing crowd. So we at Ulmon, we are a travel app company. And what we do is we are on a mission to create the world's best travel companion app. But before we jump into the details, let's take a look at the market. Travel is a very big market. More than 1.2 billion travelers travel internationally every year. And of these 1.2 billion, 80% have smartphones on them. And all of them are looking for information and ways to organize their trips. So you might think, yes, that's all true. But there is a lot of solutions out there. And in fact, there is quite some big fish in the tank here. Don't they look familiar? So we, as a small company, we thought about ways to differentiate ourselves, to be competitive in such a market. And what we found is that we need to focus. We need to focus on a certain group of users. And uh, we've started to focus on the travelers who love to plan ahead and who then take their plans, their lists with them on trip. And this has been quite successful. Normally, we do not share numbers. But today, for Noah, I want to make an um, exception. In the last 12 months, 4 million users have downloaded our apps. And all of them have been uh, organic. We are very proud about that. And more than 32 million saves of travel ideas have been done only in the last 12 months. An average user in our app is active for 31 minutes in a month. So ta let's take a look at the product. City Maps to Go is a map-centric, Marco introduced it as map, map-centric travel companion. And it's built around the uh, uh, use case of creating lists of travel ideas and being prepared wherever you go. As you can see, the product is very visual. It's, uh, it allows our users to customize the list in every possible way and, uh, to, um, and to beautifully overlay all their travel ideas on, on the maps we include. So a typical user actually takes uh, ideas from all around the web but also from offline sources and puts them into the, our app. And this is then the user's one travel idea repository. Actually, our most uh, active users, they have more than 50 lists and uh, more than 1,000 places and travel ideas saved in the app. And when you think about that, all these travel ideas, this is very very, very uh, interesting data. It basically represents the travel intent of the users. So we thought about ways to enhance that, ways to um, use that data to improve the experience uh, for the user. And that's how Discover was born. Discover is a stream of ideas, of uh, travel stories, which is personalized for every user. And this uh, uh, a stream of stories is dependent on the user's saves, on the user's uh, location, uh, on the user's interests, and also on time. As you can see here, for instance, I have uh, started to plan a trip to Paris. And the app immediately starts to suggest travel uh, stories for Paris. For instance, this beautiful uh, story about Paris uh, nightlife, um, which is taken uh, from uh, the Guardian, a British uh, newspaper. And you can see that by tapping on the story, you immediately get the list of uh, places in the story. And you can also read what the Guardian said about this uh, themed bar called Le Kremlin. So as you can see, content is the key part of our app. And in fact, when you think about it, content is uh, very important a very important part of every travel app. And it's very tough to get started with a travel app. 
uh, content-wise. Because you cannot just leanly start on one location, for instance, Paris. But you have to cover the world from the get-go. So how do we uh, actually address content? We take content from several sources. We aggregate it from open da uh, data sources like OpenStreetMap, Wikipedia, um, and others. And we augment it with uh, content we get from Foursquare, as well as um, bookable items we get from Booking.com and Get Your Guide. Additionally, we have all these travel blogs and all these travel media sites included in our uh, um, content base. Additionally, on top, we have our crowdsourced content. Our users upload photos, text snippets, and of course, all their saves and uh, uh, list titles. And we use algorithms to rank and personalize that content and to match all together to form one better experience for the user. So to jump more deeper into our uh, crowdsourced content, we are pr very proud that we have collected uh, more than 440,000 photos from users uh, uploaded to our app. Uh, 61 million saves have been done, and uh, more than 6 million at, um, text snippets uh, have been added to places. Another part of content or piece of content we are very proud of is our travel stories. Travel stories are aggregated from the uh, best 400 travel blogs and media sites worldwide and augmented by algorithmically created top lists. And these stories are very unique in our app, and they feature more than 20,000 places worldwide. So to summarize, we aggregate our content from uh, a lot of sources, and by that we are not dependent on any source, and make a better experience by combining the best from all these sources. A few facts about the company. We are based in Vienna. We raised $3.5 million so far. Our business model on the B2C side is a freemium model, and we are doing B2B deals. And what's next for us is we will continue to build the world's best travel companion. And we especially focus on leveraging data for even more personalization in the app. And we also uh, will enable B2B partners in the travel space to engage their users even more using our technology and our content. For instance, after they book the trip with them, we are a perfect partner to help them to engage the users. That's it. Thanks, you. My, my name is Timon Wiedemeyer. Uh, I'm around today and tomorrow, so if you want to get in touch, happy to answer your questions.